Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, I'll be going over on how to do a fresh install of a Cali VM in VMware. Also updating, upgrading, and adding Pimp My Cali. Uh, the first of this video series will be going over Proton VPN, adding, downloading, and configuring, setting that up, and utilizing it. I have a paid version. You could also do this for free. And also, uh, again, this will be a video series of what I like to add, install as far as tools, what I'm going to be utilizing this VM for. However, this will be specifically for YouTube. So I'll be adding a bunch of different tools, some of my main ones that I like to use for cloud, uh, internal, external, Wi-Fi. And also the second video of this uh, series will also be going over adding, customizing Wi-Fi. Uh, not customizing it per se, but adding some of the tools. Uh, I haven't used it recently in some of the newer versions of Kali, and I know you had to add some tools uh, and also some drivers. So um, I'll be doing that from fresh start as well, uh, going over the new versions of Kali. So with that being said, let's get into this video. All right, so in this video, we are going to download Kali. So from Firefox, Google's already there. Let's go Kali download. It's gonna be the first one on top. So from here, we're gonna get Kali. Um, right here, virtual machines, recommend. Just click on that. Make sure it's on the 64-bit. I am using VMware 64. If you're using VirtualBox, go ahead and use VirtualBox or whatever you need uh, but for me I will be using this one so I will be downloading this and I will get back to the video as soon as it's completed it will be downloading on top and should pop up when it's finished welcome back as you can see our download has finished it should highlight in a color of some sort mine's a neon blue baby blue whatever the arrow will highlight I'm using Firefox obviously uh, it might be different for different brother uh, the brother uh, the other browsers. Um, so go ahead and click on that. Open the file. Your downloads folder should open and I will transfer that right now. From here you are going to right click extract all. I'm just going to do it in the same location for now. Um, copy and replace for me since I already had one earlier. And it will take a little bit. I'll be back as soon as this is finished. All right, guys, now that we got this thing extracted, as you can see, it's in our download folder. Um, for this, how I'm going to do it, I am going to do it in my VMs folder uh, that I launch all these. I'm going to be saving this as YouTube underscore Cali. This is the one I'm going to be utilizing for the YouTube series. Building it out, doing some of the good tools that I like to use for different VMs from cloud, internal, external, Wi-Fi, et cetera, the whole nine. And even some of the NFC RFID tools that I use, Proxmark, iCopy XS, Chameleon, that's the kind of stuff. Um, so that's how I'm going to do it. You could put it in anywhere you want to where you save your VMs, uh, but this is how I save my VMs. Uh, I have a separate drive just for VMs only. Um, so... I'm going to open up VMware and let me open up, let me switch to that window as this thing is acting weird. One second. All right, let's finally get this shit up and running. Now we're going to open up, click on your VM tab, uh, whichever one you use. Again, I'm using VMware. Click on open a virtual machine. If you're using VMware, I'm not sure what virtual box is now. I haven't done that in a long time. Again, I got my own dedicated drive for my VMs uh, folder as well uh, for each one. So I'm going to go ahead and it should pop up. Uh, Kali TAC Linux TAC 2024.2. Um, go ahead and click on that. Click open. Just take a couple seconds to load. I'm going to go ahead and edit this just real quick. I might change it again later, but just to not give me any issues here. Uh, try to do 16, but that's all right. And then for processors, uh, I did eight. I should have done four. I meant to do four. Hard drive, I am going to do 150 for now. Uh, okay, yeah, never mind. That's correct. Uh, there we go. Now, there's going to be a green triangle. 
power this virtual machine on. That is what you are going to click to get this thing going. Just take a couple seconds to populate load and then bring you back into the login section of Kali. <clears throat> so let's give this a couple seconds. Let VMware do its resizing crap that it always does. All right, here we go. Login is Kali, all lowercase for the username. Kali, all lowercase for the password. Type both of those in, click enter. Now let's open up this terminal. You could customize this stuff uh, however you want. Different terminals, all kinds of stuff. Different backgrounds, themes, wallpaper. Um, I'll just do this for now just to help out with the size so everyone could see. All right. Now what we're going to do is go sudo su to get into roots. Password again is Kali, all lowercase. Now the one I like to do is apt tack get upgrade tack y. Oops, wrong one. And and apt tack get. Oops, there I go. I screwed up again. Update tack y. apt get upgrade tack y these are the ones this is the one i like to do starting off i do this every couple of days to update or if there's a critical update i'll go ahead and launch this down uh, to get what i need updated let's give this a couple seconds to go uh, sometimes it's even longer um, depending on what updates you have or that have came out or whatever the case may be okay let's see let me just make this bigger for now. Um, the following packages have dependencies. All right, I've never seen this before, but let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go ahead and chat GPT it. I don't have that on my screen, but if you type chat GPT, it'll give you the commands. Oh, here we go. Let's try this one. If this works, oh, actually, whichever one works, I will throw it in the chat. I've never seen this before, so. All right, we are back. That took forever. That was crazy. I've never seen one take that long before. All right, so the next one I like to do uh, for the next portion of the upgrade is apt dist upgrade Tack Y. This one might take a while as well. Um, so if it does, I will go ahead and pause the video. All right. That also took forever. Not as bad as the first one, but it still took a while. So for the next one that I like to do is apt auto remove tack Y. Hopefully this one doesn't take long. It should not. Pretty much just removing everything that we don't need, not using. Um, and that is it. So let's exit, clear. Um, so now let's go ahead and install Proton. This is pretty, I use Proton. I mean, you could do Nord, whatever one you use. I use Proton per se. I use their email, v VPN. Um, I have two different silos. So uh, here's what you would do is uh, we're in Firefox. So Proton VPN download. This is pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Um, I mean, the commands are there. Everything is there. It's really, really easy. Um, so don't be afraid to download. Uh, let's go to Linux. Install Proton. Debian. It pretty much gives you a list of the commands. So just pretty much copy and paste into the terminal. Do the next command. Oops, make sure you get everything because it will not work correctly or will not work at all for that matter. Now you could echo if you want. 
I'm going to trust it. Now for the next one, this is going to install the desktop. Continue Y for yes. Shouldn't take that long, not nearly as long as the updates did. And now if you click on your right, uh, or I'm sorry, on the top left, Kali icon in the search, type in Proton, and it's right there. All right, guys. Now make sure you restart your uh, VM. And here we go. Type in Proton VPN. It's going to pop up. There we go. So I will put my creds in just to show you that it works. Uh, I don't have my creds on the main screen because I have them in my other screen or tool that I'm using, my password manager. And oops. Log in. Oh, I need my two-factor authentication. Make sure you have this set up if you are using this. I highly recommend it. Um, unless you're doing one to mess around. But if it's your main one, I would definitely highly recommend it. Oops. Uh, I will be long gone before this video is released. Give it a couple seconds and it will load. All right. Now let's go ahead. I like using Germany. I like Germany onto Eastern Europe are my favorites. Iceland as well. Where's Germany? Deutschland at. Oh, there we go. Connecting. There we go. And it's on. So that's the video. That's how to up, install, update, upgrade Kali Linux and also install uh, Proton VPN and get it going onto your Kali Linux box. Uh, next video, I will add Pip My Kali and we'll do a Wi Fi demonstration as well. So please like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, on to the next video. See you guys next time. Thanks.